Hi friends, Miss Mandy here, Children's Librarian for the Coeur d'Alene Library. Today is a gorgeous blue sky day, so I thought it would be the perfect day to come outside and do some gardening. I have my apron on, my rubber boots on, I've rolled up my sleeves, and we are going to talk about how to make tabletop greenhouses using plastic containers that you might have around the house. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do to make your tabletop greenhouse is to find a plastic container that you might have around your home. You could use one of those plastic clamshell to-go containers. One of my personal favorite things to use is a plastic rotisserie chicken container. It makes the perfect greenhouse. I love it. I also have a few other examples. This used to have nuts in it. This had cupcakes. Cupcake holder would work really well. We could do individual individual plants in there. And this had a cheesecake in it. So it's a great way to repurpose some of those plastic containers that you might have. Keep them out of the landfills. We can just wash them out, clean them, and turn them into ways to grow food and flowers. One quick tip that you could try is to poke drainage holes in the bottom of your plastic container. I personally haven't done that in the past and it's worked just fine, but if you wanted to, you could use a sharp pair of scissors and poke pencil sized holes in the bottom of your container. Just make sure that when you're all done and you're setting your container in the sunlight that you put it on a cookie sheet or some other tray, that way that drainage water doesn't wind up all over your floor. I'm ready to make my greenhouse. I'm going to start off using the rotisserie chicken container. So I've taken the bottom part of it and I'm going to fill it about two thirds of the way full with dirt because I want to leave room to plant my seeds and then put dirt on top of my seeds. So I have filled it about two thirds of the way. The type of seeds I'm going to use are bush beans. Now the great thing about these is they are self-pollinating, which means I don't need to worry about them being pollinated by bees. They can produce the beans inside my house because they'll be pollinating themselves. And this is a really great opportunity for you to read books as a family all about seeds and vegetables and pollinators like bees and butterflies. So there's a lot of great extension activities we can do with a project like this and we can talk about science we can talk about wildlife biology, and we can talk about food. So lots of really great opportunities. Okay, I'm going to place my beans in here. I'm gonna put them in, and I'm gonna put them in a few inches apart because we don't want them growing too close together. All right, I'm gonna add one more in here. Perfect, and then I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up with dirt. To cover those bean seeds with about an inch of dirt. And you'll notice I'm not wearing gardening gloves. I think this is a great opportunity for us to talk about the smell and the texture and just really get our hands on the dirt. Plus, it'll encourage some really good hand washing after we're all done gardening. Okay, so I'm going to put a few more layers of dirt on here. A few more layers of dirt just to make sure I've got it all covered up. Then, the last step is I want to make sure that my soil is nice and moist. So I'm going to spritz some water on here and have my soil just be a really nice dark brown color. I'll know that it's time to water it again when the soil starts to change color, when it gets lighter and it turns into a light brown. I'll know it's time to add more water. But the thing about this is using the rotisserie chicken container lid, it's going to trap a lot of moisture in there and it'll really circulate that water in a really great way. Okay, I have planted my bean seeds in here and I have my lid on top and I've watered. It's perfectly moist in here, a great environment for these seeds to grow. And because this is a greenhouse, it's going to be really warm and moist in there, which means that they will grow much more quickly than they would if they weren't in a greenhouse. And it's too cold outside for us to be planting beans outside here. So this way we can get them started in our house. Now, they're going to grow so quickly and I'll be showing you pictures over the next few days as they start to sprout. Eventually, they're going to get too tall for my container so I'll just take off the lid. At that point what I could either do is transfer them to another pot where they can continue to grow. I'll want to thin them out because this is going to be too small of a container for all of those seeds. I put six seeds in here and those are going to sprout and get really big so then I can I can transplant them into a larger container and give them plenty of room to grow and be healthy. But this is a great way to start our vegetables a little bit early inside.
All right, one last thing I wanted to do is, I don't know about you, but I have been craving flowers. I would just love to see beautiful flowers. So I'm going to take this old cheesecake container and make it a greenhouse to grow some wildflowers because I love wildflowers. I'm going to once again fill it about two thirds of the way full, spread my dirt all around, and I'm going to take these wildflower seeds that I actually, I bought a book last year and these came free with the book as kind of a special promotion. The book was all about bees. So I'm going to sprinkle these beautiful wildflower seeds on this dirt here. So I sprinkled my wildflower seeds. I'm going to cover them now with another layer of dirt. And what I love about this is seeds are so resilient. They're so hardy. It's that life that's just, it's just kind of in the seed and it's still all winter long and then if we give it the right things the things that it needs if we give it soil and we give it water and we give it sunlight that life will just come bursting out of those seeds and make something beautiful or something that feeds us i think seeds are amazing quick tip you'll see with some of these containers like the rotisserie chicken container the lid is raised here so there's plenty of room for our beans seedlings to grow. So there's plenty of room here with this big lid. However, with this one, the lid is flat. It's not really raised there. So I only filled this part way up with dirt because I wanted plenty of room for those seeds to sprout and grow before we have to take the lid off. So they get as much chance in the nice warm greenhouse as possible. So, oh, and if you can see earlier, I did the rotisserie chicken one and there's already condensation starting to form. This has only been sitting here for about five minutes and there's already condensation starting to form on the inside of the greenhouse lid. And again, just a couple minutes ago, I planted my wildflower seeds. Again, condensation starting to form. These work so great. Okay, I have my cheesecake container greenhouse filled with wildflowers. I have my rotisserie chicken container with beans. I have two cupcake containers filled with beans. And I have this container that had almonds in it. And it also has my bean seeds in it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them in the house and I'm going to put them on a windowsill that gets lots of direct sunlight through it because that's what seeds need. We need to give them soil and we need to give them water. So I'm going to keep a good eye on this. Make sure the soil doesn't get too dry. When it changes from this rich dark chocolate brown color to more of a lighter brown, I'll know it's time to give them more water. What's great about greenhouses is you can see the condensation already forming on the inside from the soil that was already moist in here. And so it'll keep recycling that moisture in there. And then I'll keep adding more as I see that it needs it. So we need to give them soil, we need to give them water, and sunlight, which they'll get through the window that I'm going to put them in. Thank you so much for joining me today for a little bit of gardening. I can't wait to see how quickly these seeds grow. Feel free to share pictures with me of your greenhouses that you make and how quickly your seeds grow. I can't wait to see everybody's greenhouses. I hope you enjoy this super kid-friendly, really easy project that's a way for you to grow food and flowers at home. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, everyone.